The Japan Meteorological Agency's annual global average temperature data for 2023 is shown in this chart. As you can see, the data point for 2023 is higher than those of previous years by a significant amount. The annual anomaly of the global average surface temperature in 2023 that is, the average of the near surface air temperature over land and the sea surface temperature was 0 0.53 degrees centigrade above the 1991 to 2020 average. The 2023 anomaly was 51% higher than the next highest year anomaly in 2016. The five highest global average surface temperatures all have been in the past eight years. In the satellite temperature data reported by Dr. Roy Spencer of the University of Alabama, the 2023 annual average global temperature anomaly was 0.51 degrees centigrade above the 1991 to 2020 mean, which made 2023 the warmest in his 45 year satellite data record. The next warmest year in his satellite record was 0 0.39 degrees centigrade in 2016. While the satellite data measure temperature in the lower atmosphere rather than at the surface, these results are in very good agreement with the surface temperature data reported by the Japan Meteorological Agency. Dr. Spencer's satellite data confirm that 2023 was significantly warmer than the next highest annual average temperature year of 2016. As an aside, I should note that Dr. Spencer is a well-known climate skeptic. He agrees that our climate has been warming, but he claims that most of the warming has been the result of natural climate processes such as the El Nino Southern Oscillation, rather than from the emission of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases from the burning of fossil fuels. Dr. Spencer's degrees are in meteorology, which may explain why he looks to meteorological effects to explain global warming. My degrees are in physics, so I find it hard to ignore the well understood chemistry and physics behind the atmospheric greenhouse effect, which provides strong support for the notion that burning fossil fuels contributes substantially to the increasing global average temperatures that we have been experiencing since the start of the Industrial Revolution. Further confirmation that 2023 has been a remarkably warm year comes from the University of Maine Climate Reanalyzer, which shows global surface temperatures going back to 1940. As I have noted in previous videos, 2023 started out as a warm year, but the extreme surface air temperature warming didn't really begin until June of this year. So this is an indication that global warming has been accelerating. The reasons for this climate behavior are not well understood. There have been suggestions that changes in the emission of particulates into the atmosphere may be contributing to the warming. When particulates are emitted into the atmosphere, they reflect some of the incoming sunlight, which in turn reduces the rate at which the surface of the planet warms. This past year, worldwide volcanic activity has been low, which has reduced the number of particulates going into the atmosphere. In addition, recent changes in regulations for particulate emissions by ocean going ships also has reduced particulate emission into the atmosphere. And we also are in an El Nino year, and that leads to some additional warming in the tropics. However, it's doubtful that these factors alone are enough to account for the extreme levels of warming that we have been experiencing since the beginning of June of 2023. Another factor which may be playing a significant role in the rapid surface air warming has been the warming of the ocean waters. We know that the oceans have been absorbing a significant part of the warming of the air caused by increasing levels of greenhouse gases. 
that has been causing ocean water temperature to rise. And we know from the laws of thermodynamics that when the ocean water temperature rises, the oceans will absorb less heat from the atmosphere. This chart from the University of Maine Climate Reanalyzer shows that ocean near surface temperatures began to rise significantly in mid-March of 2023, two and a half months before the sharp rise in surface air temperatures began, and they have remained high throughout the rest of the year. This may help to explain why air temperatures have continued to rise sharply over the past year. Clearly, the rapid rise in global average temperature over the past year is not good news for the planet. I hope that you have found this video informative. If you have any questions or comments, please post them in the comment section of the video and I will do my best to respond. And if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, I would appreciate it greatly if you would hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.